Hi, I'm Paul with RockOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Kuat Sherpa 2.0. And here we have it installed onto a Toyota 4Runner. So I'll just go over some of the key features that make this rack unique and also make it a good fit to this vehicle. So currently we have it in the fully deployed position, ready to load a bike. Uh, but we want to go ahead and show you how it's installed onto the vehicle. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and move these ratcheting hold down arms down into the stowed position, as well as put the front wheel cradles also in the stowed position. I'm going to move it into the stowed position by grabbing the release lever here and lifting it upward. Automatically snaps into that position. So it's currently locked onto the receiver hitch. I'll just remove the dust cover and insert the key give it a turn and now I can remove the hitch pin and then you'll notice it's still not releasing that's because we have the, the turn knob here so I'm going to go ahead and loosen that turn knob pull it out and show you exactly how it's being held into the receiver hitch so here you'll notice we have a internal wedge and the wedge pushes this ball bearing into the corner of the receiver hitch thereby giving it a very effective anti-wobble both vertically and horizontally. So the wedge is connected to the threaded rod which is where you turn that knob. So when you install the rack you always keep it in this stowed position that makes it much easier to stand over. I'll just drop the, the hitch base onto the ledge bring it up to the vertical position. Next I'll grab this hitch pin and insert it through the hole use that as a feeler to find the hole, there we go. So there I found the hole and all without having to look, I could just use the hitch pin as a feeler. Next what I want to do is pull backward on it. That'll give a little bit of added friction onto that uh, hitch pin and I'm going to go ahead and tighten it on up. And as I tighten it, I'm pulling back and tightening it by hand, get it good and snug and now there's absolutely no play on that interface. So next what I can do here with this lock is I can remove the key and put the dust cover over the key and then simply reach down and snap it on. Okay so now you have security for the rack to the hitch. So just a quick overview on the rack in general. Uh, the Kuat Sherpa is specifically designed to be very lightweight. It is constructed primarily of aluminum alloy and that keeps the weight down to only 32 pounds. So it's definitely one of the lightest platform hitch racks on the market. And so we'll go ahead and load up a bike next. I'll move this arm over and forward, press in the release button and extend the arm completely out. Lift up this front wheel cradle and open up the rear wheel strap. And then I'll go ahead and grab a bicycle. Get that front wheel into the front wheel cradle. And then here I'll just do a little dip to capture that rear wheel strap. And then next, lift up on the arm. And you wanna bring the arm down to the, as close to the first point of contact as you can without actually making contact. So I'll just grab there. Once it's close, pull down as snug as you can to get a good firm grip. Make sure it's engaged into the wheel cradle nicely. Here on the back, the rear wheel is sitting in a pivoting rear wheel tray, so there's no adjustments necessary. It automatically pivots to line up properly with the rear wheel. And then all I have to do is run the strap through the buckle. You'll notice we have a, a strong, rigid uh, ratcheting strap. However, on the underside, you have rubber to protect the rim. So I can insert that and pull it snug. So this rack can accommodate anywhere from a 26 inch wheel mountain bike on up to a 29 inch wheel mountain bike. It also accommodates a wide range of tire thicknesses, anything from your uh, standard road bike to wide mountain bike tires. So the next thing I'd like to uh, show is the access into the back of the vehicle. So with a bike or even two bikes loaded, I can pull back on that lever and allow it to come down. You'll wanna make sure that your pedal is well clear of potential contact and then now I can open up this rear hatch and you see there's no interference with this rear hatch on this forerunner. 
Now to put it back into the carrying position, I'll just grab the front nameplate and lift up, and it automatically connects into the, into the carrying position. Now we've already discussed security of locking the carrier to the, to the hitch. Also provided is a braided st uh, steel cable to lock the bike to the rack. And it's very easy and effective theft deterrent. I'll work that metal end through the wheels. And in this case, when it's just one bicycle, it's very easy to lock up both wheels. If you have two bicycles, you may not be able to lock up both wheels, but you can certainly lock up uh, at least one or two of the wheels. Now I'll run the metal end through the loop end and then lock it back into the tray position right there in a very convenient, easy to reach position. So there now we have security for both the bicycle to the carrier and the carrier to your hitch. So those are all the key features of this Kuat Sherpa 2.0. This product and the full line of Kuat products is available at rackoutfitters.com. Thank you for watching.